Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And in today's video, I am showing you guys a thrift with me. I went to three different thrift stores on one day. Two of the thrift stores were having their 99 cent color tag deal, and then one thrift store was regularly priced. Across all three of these thrift stores, my average cost of goods per piece was $2.17. If you are interested in just skipping ahead to the thrift haul, I totally understand. I skip around other people's videos all the time, and I will put timestamps down below in the description box. But if you are wanting to travel back to the thrift store with me, we're going to go there now. First up, I found this dress which reminded me of Hannah Montana. I left it behind. Then we have a fig scrub top. I don't often find figs. This is an athletic piece that I just think is way too outdated. Plus, zippers on your hips, unflattering. LuLaRoe, not even for a dollar. And this print, this is just ugly. This is Jude Connolly. I like this brand, but that was just too ugly and too expensive. Lily Pulitzer for a dollar. Yes, definitely getting that. Blue tag is a dollar. This is a squirt. Then we have Balance Athletica. This is a good activewear brand. I did pay $5.99 for these. Then I normally don't pay this much for J. Crew, but this was new with tags. It's in a size 14 and blazer so well. Ted Baker in this floral pattern always does really well. This is an old Ted Baker tag. I used to love getting graphic tees when I first started reselling, but they just don't sell for that much anymore, so I left this behind, but I did get this Rolling Stones graphic tee because it was just 99 cents. The saying on this shirt was just cringeworthy, and here is my receipt from the first store. I got 41 items. The first thing I found at the second location was this really cute For Love and Lemons dress. Then I found this ALC new with tag dress, but my thrift store wanted $49.84 for it, so it stayed behind. Lily Pulitzer, this was just too expensive, so I left that behind. Then I thought that this piece was going to be Johnny Was, but unfortunately it was not. It was just Coldwater Creek, so I definitely left that behind. And then I got 11 items at the second store. First up, I found this pair of birdies. This is a really good brand. These were pretty beat up, but I did get them anyway. Next, I know Cowboys fans are die hard, but no one's paying $50 for this poncho. I like this brand, but there were so many pulls on it, I had to leave it behind. Then there was so much brand new with Tag City Chic pieces, unfortunately they were all too expensive. I did get this Roberta Roller piece for $4, really cute shirt dress, and I got 9 pieces total. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the haul. So the first piece I have to show you guys is something that I did get at the full price thrift store. I did show you guys these in the thrift with me. And I've actually sold this exact pair of shoes either two times, this is my second or third time. This is a pair of Birdies. If you guys don't know this brand, I would definitely recommend that you become acquainted with it. It's a really good brand. It definitely has gone down in resale value as with most brands, but this still can warrant anywhere from like 30 to 60 dollars depending on the condition the condition of these are honestly not the best there's just a little bit of wear on the suede but i've sold this brand before in a similar condition and they still sold really quickly for i think 35 dollars these are in a size seven and a half and this is the typical style of a birdie it's normally like a smoking loafer so really excited to have found these this is a 99 cent find. This is a brand I would probably only pick up for 99 cents. This is J. Jill. This is in a size medium and it's just an open knit beige sweater. These open knits always do really well. I am unfortunately noticing one little pull back here. So I will disclose that. I want everyone to be happy. If something is flawed whenever I get it home, I notice that there is a flaw. I always just list it anyway, unless it's a major hole or a major stain or something of that sort. But if it's just something kind of minor like this, like a little pull, I will just knock a few dollars off and still list it anyway because damaged items will sell. Just make sure that you're being as descriptive as possible of where the damage is, what the damage is, and then price accordingly from there. Next up is a figs piece. I think I paid about $4 for this. This is in a size medium. I have not had the best luck with figs uh, scrub wear, but I know other people like swear by this brand. Every time I've had it, it's tended to sit around for a little bit, but I think that this green color will do really well. I know some of the figs pieces are a little bit more like rare unicorn type of pieces, so I will have to look and see if this colorway is a rare colorway. If not, I'll probably start this at like $35. 
This is the classic diagnosable case of retails for a lot, resells for eh. The brand on this is called Ramey Brook. I've actually found this uh, quite a lot lately. This is a brand that's going to be sold at places like Revolve and Shopbop. This is in a size small and this silhouette is very common with Ramey Brook. It's a drop waist and then it's cinched at the waist. It's often a mini dress. So I will have to see if I can find a stock photo on this and then from there look up the exact pattern of this dress. I'll probably start it off at $40 and then take offers from there. This is a Free People sub brand. This is in a size medium. Just a nice striped shirt. I'm expecting anywhere from $15 to $28 for this. Next up we have a Madewell jacket. It's in this really nice salmon color. This is in a size medium. It does need to be washed, but otherwise it's in really good condition. This is a nice utility jacket. Utility jackets in all different colors do really well for me. Uh, green is the most common color. Do you guys remember back in like 2016, 2017, everyone was wearing like a green vest, like all the fashion bloggers, and then they would hashtag it green vest obsessed. Is anyone else as old and as cringy as me? Another 99 cent fine. This is Lane Bryant. This is a good plus size brand if you can get it really inexpensively like 99 cents or at the bins. This is in a size 1820 and this is going to sell probably anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. So not a big flip on this but I have had success selling it relatively quickly. Yet another 99 cent find. This is Vince. Vince, I really only will pay up for their cashmere pieces or their leather pieces. Everything else I will only pay 99 cents for. This is just a nice ombre blue blouse. This is a great bundle piece. You guys know I sell a lot of bundles and I did get questions as to how I sell so many bundles. Quite honestly, I'm annoying on Poshmark. I send a lot of really good offers. I send a lot of annoying spam-esque messages um, via the My Shoppers app. And if someone says, like, can you stop sending me these messages, I just remove them from the My Shoppers. Unfortunately, you do have to block the person to do that. But most people either ignore it or take me up on the offer. I will say the beginning of the month and the end of the month seems to be the time when people have a little bit more money to burn in their pocket and they are willing to take me up on that deal that I offer. I normally will offer five pieces for $50 as long as the piece was originally priced $50 or less. That's just what has worked out for me because a lot of my pieces that I price at $50 or less are pieces that I source for just 99 cents. So even though I am offering a significant deal, offering those five pieces for $50 total, it really does add up for me like the profit the flip is really great because I am typically only paying like six dollars total for those pieces it's selling for fifty dollars that gives me forty dollars from Poshmark subtracting my six dollars cost of goods I'm making thirty four dollars profit and it adds up really quickly I know that that is not for everyone a lot of people are trying to raise their average sale price but personally this is the inventory I have in my area so I'm trying to make the best of this business strategy especially because it seems like everyone nowadays wants the lowest price the best deal that you can offer right off the bat and I don't know about you guys it can definitely feel a bit discouraging that's why I am having to kind of bend a little bit more and offer these really great deals and find those pieces that I feel like are going to sell in a bundle because not as much on eBay or Mercari, but on Poshmark, and I do think live sales have something to do with it, but on Poshmark, people are acting like it's flea market, like it's just somewhere where they're going to only have to pay like $5 per piece. That's my experience based on what I've read on a lot of your guys' comments. That's your experience as well, and it is very frustrating. Don't get me wrong, but I am finding ways to succumb to the flea market bargain motto that Poshmark is kind of emulating and putting out there while also being happy with the profit margin that I make. Would it be a Maddie video if I didn't go on a random tangent? Let's get back to the haul. This next piece is by the brand Joanna Baroski. I think that's how you say it. This is sometimes sold at Anthropology. This is in a size large and this is a very pretty, very feminine eyelet tank. It's sleeveless very very pretty i think this will do well considering it's in a size large and then anytime i can find 
a very feminine, very delicate piece. I've noticed it does really well and that it'll sell really quickly. This next brand is one that I really liked when I first started reselling in 2019, but now I will only pay a dollar for. This is in a size extra small. The brand on this is Chaser, and it's just a nice waffle knit. It's a good layering piece. There are some little buttons here on the cuff. I think an upcoming video that I'm going to do is brands that I would only pay a dollar for or less in 2024 because I find more and more brands as time goes on, I'm willing to only source for 99 cents or less. And I just find that my brands that I'm willing to pay up for is very, very small. And I feel like every single week it's getting smaller. And then just watching those brands like Free People, like Chaser, like Show Me Your Moo Moo, etc. become brands that I would pay 5 to $6 for now become brands that I would only pay 99 cents for. I think that could be really helpful, valuable information, especially because just all the time it seems like brands' values are decreasing. Okay, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I do occasionally pick up LuLaRoe, of course, only for 99 cents. I would say for every 10 pieces of LuLaRoe I see, I pick up one. So I did see a lot of LuLaRoe um, at my thrift store this day. This is new with tag. A lot of the LuLaRoe I do see is new with tag. This is the Danny dress. It's in a size small, and I picked this up because it's a really nice color and then it is a ribbed maxi dress so a great layering piece a great piece that you could wear casually or you could dress up by uh, just putting some layers and some nice jewelry on you could wear it in the winter time you could wear it on the beach with some sandals so because of the versatility that is why i picked it up despite it being lula bro and i found another figs piece i pretty much never look through these scrubs again this one's in a size medium but the scrubs at one of the thrift stores is right by the dresses and the dresses is my absolute favorite section. So I happened to glance over and I saw this little plus. I knew that this was figs and so that made me stop and look through the scrubs. But honestly, I normally don't go to that area. I know there's money to be made in it. I just find scrubs really boring. One of my favorite boutique brands to sell, it's THML. This sells really well on eBay. They make really adorable pieces. I love the embroidery on this. This is in a size extra small. And then there's also embroidery on the bottom hem as well. Another boutique brand, I don't always pick this up. I think this is in a size medium. You normally have to look at the care tag to see. But this is a nice like neutral reptile print tank. This will again sell really well in a bundle. Another J. Jill piece, this one is in a size large. It is Pima Cotton. J. Jill definitely does have a following, so if I can find it for 99 cents, I pretty much always pick it up unless it's just very, very basic. This, again, is another great bundle piece, another great layering piece. White House Black Market is definitely not a brand I always pick up, but it will sell if you pick up the right pieces. This is in a size 8, and you guys know I only source this for 99 cents. This is a really nice formal dress. There is the removable belt that matches. So I do think that this will sell probably for like $30. There's pockets as well. We love it when a dress has pockets. This next piece is one that I did pay up for. This is Ted Baker and it's in a Ted Baker size five, which I wanna say is a large or an extra large. Ted Baker is one of those brands I always have to look at the size equivalency chart. This is a really nice, really cute dress. I actually own this dress myself, but in a hot pink color. I got it at Nordstrom Rack like years ago. And even though it was at Nordstrom Rack, I still think I paid like $130 for it. So really, really beautiful dress. Ted Baker, I am pretty picky with um, when it comes to paying up for it, but I knew with this being a size large or extra large that it would do really well. And then of course, with it just being a nice black neutral color, that versatility again is going to be a selling factor. Next up, we have equipment. Equipment is definitely in the brands that used to sell really well and now is kind of like womp womp. This is a silk striped shirt. This is any size medium. Again, probably wouldn't pay more than like two or three dollars for equipment. Then we have a Target piece. This is Who, What, Where. For 99 cents, I will pick up most really cute Target pieces. This is a nice like 80s, 90s inspired acid wash ruffle shoulder 
button down. This is something I totally can see on Saved by the Bell. I always think of Lisa Turtle, the fashionista on Saved by the Bell whenever I see pieces like this. This might be a little bit more Jesse or Kelly Kapowski s though. So really nice piece. Again, Target's not going to sell for a lot, but just yesterday I sold two Target pieces for $15 each. So they will sell. You just have to be okay with getting that smaller profit margin and that smaller sell through price. I am queen of bread and butter brands and selling those smaller profit margins and I have no problem with it. I'm a really fast lister as well, so I think that helps that I'm not like micromanaging my listings. I know some people, they take a really long time drafting everything and taking photographs of everything and they want it to all look perfect. I'm like, snap, next. I almost never pick up this brand. Again, another 99 cent fine. This is Anne Klein. I think I've picked this up once or twice before, but I picked this up because it's a size 12 and then it's a really nice plaid. Skirt, so just really really cute. I love the colorway. It's definitely eye-catching So I think that'll probably sell for like $20 Yet another little row piece this one's in a size extra small Again 99 cent fine. I figured the pattern on this was nice enough to warrants picking it up. I think it'll sell probably for like $15. I will say Lula Row tends to sell for me best on eBay. I don't always pick up Nike, but I thought this was a nice piece. This is in a size large. Again, 99 cent fine. Nice tie-dye on it. Pink and green are personally my favorite color, so my eye was definitely drawn to this. Okay, we now interrupt this thrift haul of things I'm going to sell to quickly show you things I got for myself. So I did get one piece of clothing for myself. This sanctuary little sweater, short-sleeved blouse. I wear a lot of skirts, especially at my teaching job. So it's nice to have something that's like, cropped. It's going to hit like right at my hips that I can pair with a skirt. So just a nice basic and then I did get three books. My Goodreads is always linked in the description down below. I am an avid reader. It's my favorite thing to do. So I got a psychological thriller called The Good Father. I've never heard of this, but I read the back synopsis and it sounded really interesting. This is by Noah Hawley. Coincidentally, I just finished a book by this author and I am trying to read her backlog. So I was really excited whenever I saw this. This is Young Jane Young. This is by Gabrielle Zevin. This is the same author of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which I adored. And then the storied life of AJ Fickery as well. That's a five star read for me. So I was so excited when I saw a Gabrielle Zevin book. And then the last book and the last thing I got for myself is Room. And there is a movie that is based off of this book. I have seen the movie and I thought the movie was incredible. Brie Larson did a phenomenal job, as did the boy that started in it. I can't remember his name. I think it's Jonathan something. So I am very excited to read this. I typically think that the book is better, but sometimes the movie is better than the book. For example, Fight Club, the movie was so much better than the book. Okay, and back to the haul of things that I'm actually going to post online. Speaking of which, if you are interested in anything, everything will be listed in my Poshmark closet by the time you see this. This is Athleta, size medium. I only paid 99 cents for this. I'm pretty picky with Athleta. The only thing I ever pay up for when it comes to Athleta is their joggers. So just a basic t-shirt like this is 99 cent cap. Then we have a We The Free tank. It's this bright bubblegum pink color. Again, 99 cent only for me. Expecting like 15 to $25. With this being a size large, it's going to probably sell pretty quickly. You guys saw this in the thrift with me portion, but it is another Ted Baker. This is in a size 2, which I think is a size medium. And anytime I find these Ted Baker floral shirts, they do so incredibly well. They sell like within a week of me listing it. So I'm probably going to start this at like 35 or 40 and then take offers from there. But these always move super, super quickly. I've even found them before where they're like kind of wash worn and they still will sell. Just a basic band t-shirt. This is the Rolling Stones. This is in a size small. I used to always pick up band t-shirts whenever I first started reselling. I was very much so inspired by Jenna, Empty Hanger, 
and now I just find that band t-shirts don't really move as well so I'm probably only expecting like 15 to 20 on this but Rolling Stones is typically a pretty good one it's been a really long time since I found this brand this is Balance Athletica you can always tell because it has the triangular symbol on the back of all of their leggings it's kind of blending in here here it's super hard to see it's silver and this is in a size medium i've had really good luck with this activewear line but i will say the last few times i've gotten it it has sat for a little bit longer so i'm going to relook up comps on this brand before i list it just to make sure that it is selling for what i think it is but if comps are good, I'll probably start this at 35 to 40. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully it's still around there. It was a Ted Baker day, not that I am complaining. This is an old tag Ted Baker, and I actually found this at the last thrift store I went to, so it wasn't all from one store. This is in a size two, which again, I think is like an eight or a medium. Really lovely white dress. I love the sleeves, how they're little ruffles. So really great dress. There's buttons in the back. I just need to do them up. Then we have Roberta Roller Rabbits. This is in a size extra small. This brand is hit or miss for me. I do know that it retails for a lot and that there is a following though. This is a really nice shirt dress. Probably going to start this at like 40, 40 or 45 and see what happens. I'm always like, let's see what happens. I've sold this brand before. I wanna say this is a local designer. This is Brooke Wright. One of her pieces that I've sold, it sold really quickly. It sold for, I want to say, $40 on eBay. And then the other piece I still have listed. This is in a size small, but I really enjoyed the floral pattern on this. I love the ruffle collar and trim all throughout. It's definitely a shift dress. It's a size small, but I really do think a medium could fit in here as well. In all of my listings, I do include measurements. I really don't like it when someone asks me, do you think that this fits oversized or do you think that this runs small? I'm like, just please look at the measurements because that's going to give you the best indicator of fit. Someone asked me uh, about an anthropology top today on eBay. They said, does this run small? And I responded like, I would say no, but the measurements are going to be the best indicator. And then the same woman found my listing on the same top on Poshmark and asked me the same question. I'm like, did you think my answer was going to change on a new platform? And my username's the same and my pictures are the same. So let's put two and two together and realize it's the same person. Okay, Forever 21, I definitely don't always pick up, but I did like this. It's a size medium. It's a cute little shirt dress. And one of you guys actually pointed out that animal print might be back in because of the mob mafia life aesthetic i'm clearly not hip enough to know what that exactly is or why that's popular but basically think of the sopranos i guess <laughs> kind of like furry oversized animal print jackets i don't get it i don't know why we're aspiring to look like mob wives but okay Okay, this is Walmart Time and True. I have sold a lot of Time and True Walmart pieces before. Again, you're looking at like $12 to $18. This I bought because it reminded me of a knockoff Rails dress. So I just thought because it was reminiscent of that and just a really nice colorway that it would sell pretty quickly. Another brand that I picked up more so based on style. This is Celebrity Pink. I think this is sold at Macy's or Dillard's or Kohl's, one of those. Um, it's not that great of a brand. This is an size small, but I picked it up because of the style. Anytime I could find a denim chambray romper or dress or jumpsuit, it moves so quickly. So I just thought it was a cute silhouette, and that is why I got it. Very, like, mod-inspired. H&M Divided. Again, don't always pick this up. This is a size 8, but I thought with this being a broiler suit, it would do really well. Nice jumpsuit. There is elastic at the waist, so a good amount of stretch. This definitely reminds me of like a zookeeper. Casper Petite, this is in a size 10 Petite. I picked this up mostly uh, based on the style. It is vintage-esque. The whip stitching is really nice as well. That's where the white stitching comes out. So definitely a style-based pickup. I am slowly listing some items to Depop. So that's definitely one that I probably will list there. 
Yet another Target piece, this is Who, What, Where. This is in a size extra small. Anytime, like I said, I can find a cute printed piece by Target, it does really well. This could definitely fit up to a small, I would say. The Sundry and Ever Eve. I really do like Ever Eve. Sundry's kind of like puffed off for me. It's not doing that well. This is a size 4, which I think is equivalent to a large. There's a lot of stretch here. Just a nice athleisure wear skirt. I picked this one up based on the material and the colors. This is Express, and this is Vintage Express. This is in a size 8. It is 100% silk, and I really like the colorway. It reminded me of a Talani blouse, so really, really lightweight as well. Then we have Hollister. I definitely do not always pick up Hollister. This is in a size extra small. And I picked this up because it was 99 cents and also because I recently sold a Hollister dress pretty quickly for 15. So I am willing to try a few more Hollister pieces and just see what happens. Another 99 cent find, Lily Pulitzer size 4. Nice waffle knit. It is um, kind of one of those like deceiving skirts, so it's an envelope style in the front and then it's shorts instead of a skirt But it looks like it could be a skirt if you were just glancing at it Those are popular like five years ago that style Another intro piece. This is just a nice tie-dye Dress great piece to just throw on you don't really have to think about it. This is in a size medium. There is a keyhole back Francesca's. I've had pretty good luck with Francesca's. This is in a size medium. That's one of Francesca's sub brands. I would only pay 99 cents and I only pick up pieces that I think are unique or cute. So this is a really great green color and then it does have a peekaboo back. So I'm expecting like 15 to 25 on that. Another great piece for bundles. Loft size 10. Great pinstripe skirt. Perfect for the office. Everyone needs some pinstripe in their professional clothing wardrobe, I would say. It's just a closet staple. This is Vint size large. This is just a nice color block silk blouse. Again, this is only 99 cents. This is a very old tag Vince. Okay, if I speed through, it's because my camera is about to die, unfortunately. We have J. Crew new tag, size 14. I didn't pay up for this. Great piece, though. It's linen. Love, love, love the color on that. Then we have Pure Jill, size extra small. I actually recently just sold a J. Jill piece that was very similar in material to this and it sold really quickly. Okay, two more pieces and then my camera is going to die so we do have to go. For Love in Lemons, this is the first piece I found at one of my thrift stores. This is a size extra small and it is so cute. I wanted this dress back when it first came out but I have nowhere to wear anything like this plus I think I'm too pale for the nude underlay so I'd rather take the money on it. And the last piece I am going to show you guys is an anthropology piece. This is anthropology moth. This is in a size medium. It is an alpaca blend, and I just really love the colors on this cardigan. So that is everything that I got, more or less. I do have a few more pieces to show you, but like I said, my camera is about to die. They're just bread and butter pieces. We'll live without them. If you did enjoy this video, please do make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. What are some of your best thrifted pieces that you found recently? And I will see you guys next video. Bye!